Hey, I'm Terry from Fiberscope.net, and today we're going to talk about our new Viper Advanced Video Scopes. Um, these units are going to be a little bit larger than the ones that we've sold in the past, and the monitor unit will also be updated. Typically with our old Vipers, you would have a push cable that's about 4.9 4 or 5 millimeters in diameter. Uh, the new cables are going to be a bit thicker, so they're 6.4 millimeters in diameter, and it's going to be a larger reel. So you'll get 200 feet of push cable instead of 40 meters or 130 feet. Um, also, the old ones used to have a camera head that was removable. Um, that's been changed for these. So the camera head is now integrated into the Pro and there's a longer spring section, which means that it's a lot more flexible and a lot better for doing some tight bends. Um, if you're looking at areas that are gonna have a two inch or three inch pipe, you'll easily be able to do a 90 degree bend. Um, you can actually do two or three bends in a two inch pipe with this camera head. So the camera head here is gonna be a one inch, and then with the spring section, it'll easily make a few bends, um, and you can do a P-trap with that as well. Um, the longer push cable as well, it'll give you a bit more rigidity, so you can push it a bit further. Um, sometimes it's a little bit of a problem going past 100 feet, but this one should give you a little bit easier um, time doing that. For the monitor that we have, um, <clears throat> for the new ones, you still have your sun shield to block it out if you're using it outside. Um, the screen's a lot larger though, so you're looking at about an 8 inch uh, monitor instead of the old 7 inches. And the buttons on here are now sort of a touch, um, touch screen button, so there's no issues with them uh, getting, getting wet or getting damaged or, or pressed down. Um, same thing with the new units. You're going to get a couple skids with it, so you'll have a small half inch skid that would go over top and just give you some strength and some protection. And then we've got the rolling skids, so you do get a skid that will roll down a three inch pipe and this will give you the ability to uh, slide through and pick up some momentum if you're going a little bit deeper. Um, with that being said, um, there's also a counter that's built into these, uh, to the reel now. Uh, the reel is going to be obviously shipping on its own outside of the box, um, but you can feed through the probe into the counter area, which is here. And then you just lock down the uh, gold parts, so you flip them over so that it can't pop out. And then when you have the counter on, it'll show up on the screen and it'll roll out. So as you're going out, it'll mark down that you're going further. And then when you roll it back in, the counter will also count it back. So that'll be helpful for some inspections where you want to find exactly where break is or how deep it is. Um, same design, you've got the four inch cable, or sorry, the four pin cable. So one will go into your DVR box. And the other one will actually connect onto the back of the counter itself. So you'll be connecting those, it's just on the inside here. As soon as you connect that, it'll have the image startup, so as long as it's on. Um, and then you'll also have your counter will appear in the top right corner. So as you roll out, you'll see that it'll start to pick up how far you're going out. And then as you come back in, it'll mark down that you're reeling it back in to when you get back to zero. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, um, same thing, LED controls are in the box, so for your tip here, you can actually control the lights, turn them all the way up, turn them down, um, turn them off if you need to. Um, as you can see, for the Viper units, you actually have a really good focal range, and it is a bit of a fisheye view, so you'll have a 100 degree field of view, which is the same, um, and you'll just notice that it's a bit more of a screen for that way. Um, aside from that, the DVR box is inside with the battery. It'll be a rechargeable battery, so you can get up to four hours of use on that. Or you can run it off of the power adapter, which just plugs in on the side here. There's a video output. There'll also be a microphone, so you can record audio for your videos, explain what you're seeing or what job set you're on and what you're doing that way. Uh, the memory card that comes with it is now an 8 gigabyte SD card. So this will be the same that you'd use in most digital cameras. Um, you just insert it in here, record your images in your video. So right now it's set up to record video. Uh, you can change that in the settings so that you can record a um, image in, instead. So you just go into the settings, 
do you go into work mode and you would set for photos instead. And when you go back out, you would see that it's set up for photos instead of video that way. Um, capture, you just hit the record button, it'll capture a still shot. And then if you wanted to go into playback, you could play any of your photo files that you've captured. So that's the one that we just did. Or you can go back and do video recording and it would be there as well. When you play back with audio, you should hear the audio as well. So you can go over your videos, see if you need to make any changes or any adjustments that way. Um, with the memory card, like I said, it's an 8 gig, so it's a little bit larger. Um, but you shouldn't really need to do, like you should be able to use that for a lot of jobs. Um, unless you're doing a lot of heavy video and a lot of image capture. Um, for most instances, when you're using it on a rechargeable battery and you've got about 4 hours of charge, um, I don't think you would really max out that memory card, so that should be fine. Um, aside from that, it will be a bit bigger, a little bit more cumbersome to transport around when you're using it compared to a Viper, but I think you'll find that the features are a lot better, especially if you're using it within like a 2 inch pipe and you need to make some of those tight bends that you can't do. Um, you can do at least two 90 degree bends in a 2 inch pipe. Um, if you're using it in a bit larger, you'll, you'll definitely get three or four um, and you can keep going. Um, if you're using it for other instances, uh, we do have larger roller skids as well, so you might want some of those if you're doing like a 4 inch or a 6 inch pipe. Um, <clears throat> and that should be it. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you want any more information, fiberscope.net would be the place to find it, and you can call us directly as well, 1-800-239-9934.